John Jones had Matt Hamill pinned down, delivering a series of vicious elbows from the full mount position. As Jones rained down strikes, he paused and looked at the referee, expecting the fight to be stopped, but the referee didn't intervene. What led to this shocking turn of events? To understand, we need to go back to December 5th, 2009, at the Ultimate Fighter co-main event. John Bones Jones, an undefeated rising star, faced Matt the Hammer Hamill. Jones was known for his unorthodox style and incredible athleticism, while Hamill was a seasoned wrestler with a reputation for toughness. John Jones entered the fight with a 9-0 record, showcasing a blunch agility and innovative techniques made him a formidable opponent for anyone in the light heavyweight division. Matt Hamill, an experienced fighter with a background in collegiate wrestling, had an 8-2 record. Despite being deaf, Hamill had overcome numerous challenges to compete at the highest level. Known for his resilience and powerful ground quickly asserting his dominance, using his reach advantage and unorthodox striking, Jones kept Hamill at bay. He landed a series of kicks and punches, setting the pace early on. Downward strikes with the point of the elbow. These strikes are illegal in the UFC due to their potential to cause severe damage. Referee Steve Mazzagatti immediately stepped in to warn Jones about the illegal blows, but Hamill was already in trouble. The strikes had caused a significant cut on Hamill's face, impairing his ability to continue. Jones believed he had secured another victory and began celebrating. However, Mazzagatti utilized the newly implemented instant replay system to review the illegal strikes. The replay showed that Jones's illegal elbows had caused a deep cut on Hamill's face, contributing to his inability to continue. Due to the severity of the illegal blows, Mazzagatti had no choice but to disqualify Jones, awarding the victory to Hamill. This decision marked the first and only loss in John Jones' career, a disqualification that remains controversial to this day. John Jones expressed his frustration after the fight, stating, I'm not positive on the rules, but I think after 14 or 15 unanswered punches, the fight should be stopped. It felt awkward to keep hitting him like that. Even UFC President Dana White was critical of the decision, and unnecessary. White stated, John Jones won that fight. Matt Hamill lost. It's unfortunate that we have to call it a loss for Jones. You know, John Jones is so good. I mean, you, you can doubt him. You can this, you can that. You not like him. The guy's never lost a fight. Matt Hamill, known for his sportsmanship and integrity, admitted that he felt he had lost the fight. In an interview, Hamill said, I was the outcome in my mind. This disqualification highlighted the complexities of MMA rules and the importance of instant replay in ensuring fair outcomes. It also served as a humbling moment for Jones, who continued to build his legacy while learning from this pivotal incident. Do you agree?